coming in at 18 and 1. The SMSU Mustangs coming in at 9 and 8, 5 and 6 in the NSIC. So, uh, Dylan, why don't you give us your three keys to the game for the Mustangs to try and get a win here tonight? Absolutely, man, as they take on a very talented MSUM team. These are the three keys I see uh, fit for that victory. First of all, no. they need to get momentum early in this game. They cannot allow uh, MSUM to get ahead and on a good roll. But if the Mustangs get that momentum, things will be good for them going forward. My second key to the game, win the battle in the paint. Your best points and easiest baskets can often be found there in the paint. Your basic shots get that going there, and there will be plenty of success. And, and my third and final Minnesota key, man, State avoid University turnovers. No need to turn over the basketball. You turn over that, and you're helping the other team out. So control that, and they got themselves a good opportunity to pull out the W. Most definitely, and kind of looking at a little bit about MSU Moorhead, the Dragons, who played at Sioux Falls on Friday night came out with the victory, obviously, at 19-1 and 10-1 and and in the NSIC, and entered the, with the weekend, suffered its only loss at Minnesota Louvre, 60-58 on December 13th. The Dragons feature four players averaging double figures and scoring senior guard Jordan Ruer, 16 points per game, with 54 three-pointers and dishing out a team-leading 110 assists. And the Division II stats as well. Rearer ranks second in assists to turnover ratio, third in assists, fifth in three point field goal percentage, and fifth in free throw percentage. Sophomore guard Andrew Line has made 43 pointers and averaging 13.1 points per game with a team leading 4.9 rebounds per game. Junior forward Isaac Seville shooting 57.5% from the field and averaging 12 points per game while junior guard Tyler Vaughn has connected on 39 three-pointers and scoring 10 points per game. MSUM is averaging 84 point games, 84 points per game. That is tops in the NSIC. And looking at some of the shooting percentage is 50.4% from the field. And MSU Moorhead head coach is Chad Walthall in his fifth season with a record of 94 and 42. And looking at some of their stats in the NSIC too, Dylan, I mean, this this Dragon team is going to come ready yep. to play here Absolutely. Tonight. They're proving why they are ranked here. And as you just went through some of those stats too, they definitely got uh, a lot of uh, factors going for them in their favor. Now, we'll see if they uh, can uh, keep that uh, keep that points on the paper, I suppose you could say. <laughs> uh, going here at uh, SMSU, we uh, got the RA facility filling up here pretty nice. Should be a good uh, turnout. So if the Mustangs can... Uh, keep things going in their favor, get the crowd involved too. It's, uh, it's not going to be easy for Moorhead to try to get the victory here tonight. Definitely not going to be easy here tonight. And looking at some other stats as well, I mean, their scoring margin plus 17.9. I mean, that's something to look at too. That is three points ahead of Augustana. And looking at some of their field goal percentages, 48% from the field which is a very efficient team. They play really sound basketball. Three-point field goal percentage, I mean, is just great as well. 40% from three-point range, where you kind of want to be at, and that is third in the NSIC. Absolutely, Look, Matt. Yeah, it, it's the, they got the golden percentages that every coach covets in having for their basketball team. Yeah. Most definitely, as we're getting set here for the national anthem, we're going to take a break and let you... Soak in the National Anthem, but then we will be back with the starting lineups. And you're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. Alone, our reach is limited. No matter how great our intentions, on our own, we can only stretch so far. But at Rotary, we believe the right group of people working together can make our communities, our world, a better place. Rotary, humanity in motion. When I was first diagnosed with HIV, Cookie and I decided to fight this disease. Now we're here to urge you to stand with us in the fight against HIV. In the U.S., about half of the new HIV cases have occurred among African Americans. Get informed, get tested. Early detection can save your life. If you test positive, seek treatment from a doctor. Go to WeStandWithMagic.com, get resources, and become a member today. 
We all have a vision of that perfect smile. But when it comes to our smile, it's not something we can draw or wait to miraculously appear. We need an orthodontist, dental specialists with two to three years of specialized education beyond dental school. Your child might be the next Picasso, so trust that brilliant smile to the right hands. Seeing an orthodontist no later than age seven can help achieve a healthy, beautiful smile. For more information, visit braces.org. If you see abuse or neglect, learn what you can do at BeHumane.org. Southwest Minnesota State University, where private school atmosphere meets public school cost. Programs like colonology, agronomy, and environmental science set the standard nationwide. Where grad placement rates are over 97%. And the school invests in you, putting over $80 million back into the university. Southwest Minnesota State University, where you belong. AmeriCorps Bureau. I want to help people. I want to make a difference. I want to get things done. Could I be a hero? She had to apply. I should give this a try. There she met people who shared her passion. People who wanted to make change. People who joined AmeriCorps. They cleaned beaches. They helped wild. Together they served. Together they made a difference. Together they were heroes. In AmeriCorps, you can be a hero too. Join AmeriCorps. Ladies, are you talking to your partners? About HIV. Two out of every three new HIV AIDS cases in women are among black women. Get informed. Get tested. Early detection can save your life. If you test positive, seek treatment from a doctor. Join the campaign to end Black AIDS, a partnership between Abbott and the Magic Johnson Foundation. Go to WeStandWithMagic.com, get resources, and become a member. And join today, and thank you. There are moments when you think about what defines you. Mine was the moment when the doctor said autism. As a parent, you're expected to have all the answers. But when your child has autism, there are very few answers to be had. Can you tell me what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing? Because I don't know. That's why thousands across the country have come together online to give researchers the insight that only families can provide. Join the Ian Project. We all have questions together. And welcome Fine, back yeah. to the RA facility. Here are your starting lineups for both teams here tonight. Minnesota State University, Moorhead Dragons. Starting for the Dragons here tonight, number two, Jordan Ruer, guard, 6'2", senior from Staples, Minnesota. And number five, Prescott Williams, guard, 6'4", senior from Akron, Ohio. And number 14, Aaron Line from guard, 6'4", from sophomore from Moorhead, Minnesota. Number 22, Tyler Vaughn from guard, 6'1", junior from Brown, Minnesota. Number 55, Alex Selvey, forward, 6'9", junior from Red Wing, Minnesota. The Dragons are coached by Chad Walthall in his fifth season. Assistant coaches are Justin Wyke and Jordan Peterson. And let's send it over to Dylan Kirkman for the SMSU starting lineups. All right, thanks a bunch, uh, Matt. Here starting for the Mustang men tonight at number four, it's Lou Osmondson, a guard and sophomore from Owatonna, Minnesota. At number five, it's Mitch Wegg. He is a forward sophomore from Worthington, Minnesota. And at number 15, Joey Bartlett, a forward as well, sophomore from St. Peter, Minnesota. Wearing number 30 tonight, it's Paul Martin. He's a guard, and he is a senior all the way from Omaha, Nebraska. And finally, at number 35, the center, Carter Kirk, a freshman out of Mountain Lake, Minnesota. And that's your starting lineup. Assistant coaches are Trammell Bonds, Nick Smith, Jeff Hanson, Joel Wallace, and their head coach, Brad Bigler, in his sixth season with SMSU. And tonight's officials tonight is Ted Kreitzy from Stillwater, Minnesota, Doug Voltava from Lincoln, Nebraska, and John Yorkovich from Maplewood, Minnesota. A good crowd here tonight, Dylan, and uh, we're getting set for tip-off. The Dragons are wearing their white jerseys with the red, uh, with the red uh, letters and numbers, and the Mustangs are wearing gray with uh, white lettering as well. 
So it should be a good Absolutely, game man. I'm excited. The energy is big in here. Great turnout for the home crowd. It, uh, it's going to be a wonderful matchup. And again, a guy to look out for here tonight is Jorn Ryer. I mean, the guy has literally got 16 points per game, efficient, passes the ball. Got to keep him in check here tonight. Absolutely. Dylan. We'll have to see how uh, the Mustangs approach him defensively tonight as we go throughout the game. The teams are giving each other knocks, showing some respect. Got to appreciate that good sportsmanship here. Here's the tip. And the uh, tip goes to the Dragons. Mustangs going man to man here. Ball movement from Vaughn. Shot up off the top of the backboard. Rebound, Cole Martin. Had to give it to Mitch Wegg there for a second. Drew Osmondson bringing it up for the Stangs. Osmondson. Down to Mitch Wegg. Wegg backing down to Ruer. Gives it to Carter Kirk. Kirk can't get it. Rebounded by the Dragons. Missed opportunity there, Matt. Uh, Mustangs were so close. Had the good inside look that they wanted, but uh, just came up short there. Mustangs trying to bounce back from a, a very tough loss against a very good Northern team last night. And that shot goes in by Lane. Mishandled by Bartlett, finally gets it. Looking down low to Kirk. Kirk backing down Selvi. It'll be Dragon's ball right there. Two nothing, Dragons. Nice ball movement from the Dragons so far in this game. Three-pointer up, no good, rebound Carter Kirk. But it's taken away, turnover for the Mustangs. Brewer dumps it off to Williams. Williams' shot is up, no good. Rebound by Wegg. Couple lucky breaks there for the Mustangs to couple open looks for uh, the Dragons there for three-point line. Martin for three, and that's good. Picking up where he left off last night, hitting a couple of nice threes. Just what you need there, too. Got a good cheer from the home crowd, and we'll see if they can keep this going. Mustangs lead 3-2. to two. Travis Minders, MJ Delmore, about to come into the game. Shot is airballed by Williams. Here comes Cole Martin. Martin. Looking for some help here. Here comes Osmondson. He is fouled. Reach right there. Drew Osmondson will be shooting two. Osmondson, 62% free throw shooter. Here comes Drew. Shot is up. And good. Coming in, Travis Minders and Turner Moen. Comes Osmondson, shot is up, no good. Rebound Williams. Nice ball movement, down low to Sevley. Makes a nice move on Wegg, gets the easy bucket. Over to Minders. Should also give credit uh, to Becca Clare there, one of our camera, yes, camera crew. Definitely. She got a good inbound there back to the game, so props to her. Multitasking, Absolutely. holding the camera. And holding the camera the too, yeah. I, it's gonna be tough for us to top that. Bartlett for three. That doesn't go, rebound Moen. Moen kind of back off there. Passes it to Bartlett. Bartlett's shot is up. No good. 
Mustangs now shooting 25%. Still very early in this game. Seavely. Isaac Seavely with the easy bucket again. He's got four points. Here comes Osmondson, driving. Over to Bartlett, down back to Mitch Wegg. Wegg shot is up, and good. Mitch Wegg, his first points of the game. Nice move by Wegg on there. Yeah, Dylan. really like that. Hopped back there, threw it off, and nothing but net. Comes Delmore, Kirk, and Martin trying to get back into the game. Seavely gets fouled by Wegg on that on the way up. 15.55 left in this first half. First foul for Wegg. And here comes Seavely to the line. Seavely shot is up and good. Check the game for the Dragons, number one, Sangolo. Sangolo into the game for the Dragons. Cole Martin, MJ Delmore, Carter Kirk into the game. Mitch Wegg and Drew Osmondson out. Shot is up and good by Seavely. He's got six points tonight. Yeah, Seavely's been a key part so far of the offensive strategy, and he's made it look easy out inside the paint there. Minders for three. That doesn't go in. Dragons lead 8-6. Golo down to line. Aaron Lean, excuse me. MJ Delmar driving down. Tries to, oh. Loses it and then turns it over. Dragons shooting 50%, one of three from three point range. Yeah, right at about their team average actually for the year, Matt. So, so far they're, they're playing up to their uh, expectations in the stat department. Golo. Shot is up, no good. Cole Martin. Dumps it to Moen. Moen wow. shot is up and good. Nifty pass, nifty play. I uh, I liked it all the way. Turner Moen with 7.9 points. Averaging here on the season. Down low. Hurt. Seavely's shot is up. And no good, but rebounded by Travis Minders. Minders, gets it over to Martin, Martin. Gonna try and set it up here. Comes Delmore, over to Moen, Moen. Makes a nice move, bank shot is up, no good. Vaughn, some nifty moves there and he lays it in. Minders, dumps it to Moen, Moen. Over to Delmore, Delmore for three. No good. Rebound to Sangolo. Yeah, I thought it had a chance there, Matt, but uh, the rim decided, uh, nope, not today. Stang's trying to play some lockdown defense here. Vaughn dumps it on to Seavely. Nice pass for the easy bucket. Comes MJ Delmore. Trying to set it up here. Shot is up by Moen and good. Three pointer for Turner Moen. He's got five tonight. And nothing but net on that shot too. I, I heard the swish so perfectly, <laughs> even from our spot here on the table. <laughs> Very nice. 15 to 11. MSUM leads. Shot is up, no good. Sangolo with the rebound. Reaver. 
Nice defense from the Mustangs. Not giving them anything in there. Some goal, that's it on to Seavely. Seavely, wow. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he's been doing a great job down low here tonight so far, Dylan. Yeah, he makes it look easy. I wish I could make my layups as easy as he does. <laughs> here comes Minders. Minders travels on that one. Platoon swap here for both teams, but media timeout, and we're going to take a 60-second break as well. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU-TV. Southwest Minnesota State University, where private school atmosphere meets public school cost. Programs like culinology, agronomy, and environmental science set the standard nationwide, where grad placement rates are over 97%. And the school invests in you, putting over $80 million back into the university. Southwest Minnesota State University, where you belong. Cans, water bottles, and clothes. These forms of aid cost more to ship than you think. Cash donations provide immediate and effective relief to those who need it, without the shipping costs. If we all do our part, together we can provide help across the world. To learn more, check out CIDI.org. And welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where the SMSU Mustangs are trailing the MSUM Dragons 17-11. to So far, not too bad for the Mustangs. A couple of early turnovers, but still in this. Absolutely, yep. It's still early on there, too. Granted, they are down six, but yeah. I mean, they're doing good field goal shots, uh, 40%. Got to like that, but... Just got to follow through, get those inside shots to go through, and they'll be back in it. Bingham, shot is airballed right there. Some of the Mustang fans yelling airball there. Yeah, trying to get it started there, too. And Osmondson over to Bartlett. Bartlett for three. Shot is up and good. Joey Bartlett has been one of the most efficient three-point shooters in the NSIC. Yep, and he's proving it tonight, and uh, the crowd's loving it. Getting the rebound there. Here comes Joey. Gives it over to Osmondson. Wegg. Kirk from the top of the key. Shot is up, no good. Can't get the rebound. Prescott Williams gets it. Three more. Hang him. To Sangolo. Sangolo for three, no good. Rebound from Nelson. Three more. Hang him to Sangolo. Nice ball movement. Nelson. Three more. It's a pick. His shot is up and blocked by Mitch Wegg. Mitch Wegg gave him one of those looks, Dylan. Mm -hmm. Like you can't come in the paint right there. Nope, not today. Yeah, he uh, put his stamp of denial on yeah. it, you could say. You know? Most definitely. Down to Williams. Prescott, a couple of moves. Nelson shakes the defender. Sangolo for three, and he'll make his first shot of the game. Yeah, had a nice wide open look there, and he capitalized on the opportunity. Mitch Wegg. Here comes Osmondson. Down to Kirk. Cole Martin. Martin's shot is up. No good. Rebounded by Nelson. Nelson to Williams. Williams drives and is fouled by, I think, Joey Bartlett. 
fouled by Joey Bartlett. Going to shoot free throws, but another media timeout. We're going to take a 60 second break. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. At 32, Carol had her first heart attack. Michelle began kidney dialysis right before graduation. A brain seizure kept Maria out of work for nearly a year. Without warning, lupus can attack the major organs. Every day it disables its victims, especially women. Like most Americans, I didn't know how life-threatening lupus could be until my sister was diagnosed. It's time we do something about it. For more information about lupus, contact the Lupus Foundation of America. Your heart rate's a little fast. Cause of death, acute myocardial infarction. Have you tried a weight loss program? Likely caused by type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Still smoking? Victim's lungs are black and scarred. You can get a physical exam now, or you can get one later. Use our free risk calculator and talk to your doctor. Lower your risk for type 2 diabetes and heart disease and live a healthier life. And welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University, where the Minnesota State University Moorhead Dragons have the lead over the SMSU Mustangs, 22-14. And looking at some of the uh, part of the first half here, Dylan, I mean, both teams shooting uh, at where they kind of want to. The Mustangs could improve a little bit, 38%. MSU Moorhead, I mean, it's 42%. I mean, this game has been pretty competitive so far for both teams. Absolutely, neither team being able to pull away. I guess the only uh, criticism or critique you give so far for SMSU maybe is they've few opportunities when uh, MSU has missed, being able to rebound and box out and get those balls back would help uh, huge in their favor. Here comes Williams. Missed his first shot. Another free throw, no good. One of the better teams at making free throws. Yeah, very surprising there, actually, to see those misses. Comes Delmore, dumps it down to Wegg. Wegg, shot is up, and rolls in. Mitch Wegg. He's got four points tonight. Nathaniel Hewitt into the game. Sangolo. Bingham. Sangolo. Kretschmann. Sangolo. With a nice move. Right there, he gets the easy basket. Weave through the defense there. Minders, wide open for three. And no good. Mustangs shooting 37%, three of eight from three-point range. Yeah, Wanted. generally not a, a bad stat to have, too, but uh, granted with the score right now, it'd be nice to have had that last pass to go through. And Bingham with the uh, fadeaway shot, and that's up and good. Wegg can't hold on to that one. Another turnover for the Mustangs. Sangolo, and then it's blocked. And Joey Bartlett tried to pass it to Hewitt. That's another turnover for the Mustangs. Yeah, just uh, not necessary there, too. Just kind of, I don't know, threw the ball out somewhere. But uh, it's got to be patient. Let everyone catch up and develop. And Sangolo now going to pass it out. Crutchman. Down to Nelson. Nelson backing down Osmondson. Nice pass to Vaughn. Vaughn. Over to Bingham. Down low to Nelson. Little mismatch there on Drew Osmondson. Yeah, solid defense there by the Mustangs. That's their first turnover for the Dragons. And here comes Delmore. Shot is up and good. Gets the friendly roll. MJ Delmore. And he's got his first points here tonight. Averaging 9.4 points per game. Crutchman down to Nelson. Vaughn to Bingham. Bingham. Not another shot from him, and that's up and good. 
Urban Bigham. Shot is up from Mullen, and it's no good. Another missed three-point. Yeah, another opportunity lost. Shot is up and no good. Bingham for three. He's feeling it, but he can't make that one. Osmondson takes it from Nelson. Osmondson retreats back. Minders thinking about the three. Comes it down. Gives it to Martin. Martin for three. No good. Rebound by Sangolo. Kretschmann. Nice ball movement from MSU. Man. Kretschmann for three. And that's good. And Coach Bigler will take a 30 second timeout and we will take a 30 second break as well. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. Your heart rate's a little fast. Cause of death, acute myocardial infarction. Have you tried a weight loss program? Likely caused by type two diabetes and heart disease. Still smoking? Victim's lungs are black and scarred. You can get a physical exam now, or you can get one later. Use our free risk calculator and talk to your doctor. Lower your risk for type two diabetes and heart disease and live a healthier life. Welcome back to the RA facility where the SMSU Mustangs trail the MSUM Moorhead Dragons 29-18. So kind of looking at some of the stats here, Dylan, I think one thing that kind of stands out here for the Mustangs so far is uh, improving kind of on the turnovers. I mean, five turnovers so far early in this first half. Exactly. Uh, Moorhead's a very talented team, and you cannot afford to be turning over the basketball as well. And as a result, too, they've taken advantage of those points. But uh, getting those inside points will be critical as well. Nice drive by Cole Martin. Very impressive drive. He just, uh, you know, just a nifty little move. I guess that's the best way to describe it. Very nice move from Cole Martin. He's got five points tonight. See if he falls down there. I don't know if that was the court monster, maybe, instead of the <laughs> turf monster. I'm not sure what went on. Might have been. Might be slippery down there. You never know. Singolo. Fade away shot. Rebound. Cole Martin. Martin. Drives. Puts up another shot, and that's good. Cole Martin. He's got seven points now. Sangolo, Seeley, shot is up and good. He's got 12 points tonight. Isaac Sevley, forward 6'9", junior from Red Wing, Minnesota. Osmondson, over to Bartlett. Martin, down to Wegg. Wegg on lean, that's blocked by Seeley. Shot is up from Bartlett, and good. Joey Bartlett, five points tonight. Wegg. A Jimmer for that three, that doesn't go. Tyler Vaughn. He's trying Looks to drain like, it from uh, Yeah, they're trying to range. slow down the, the pace here a little bit too, Coach Bigler, getting his team uh, set. And Kirk tried to dump it down to Wegg. That didn't work. Another media timeout, and we're going to take a 60-second break. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU Television. What's it like when you hear your calling? Will you ignore it? Or will you listen? What if it calls you to go halfway around the world? To serve people you've never met? 
What will you do when you hear your calling? Peace Corps, life is calling. How far will you go? 80. 30. 50. Every mile brings us closer. 64. Every mile in a city near you. 75. Help us find a cure for diabetes. 100. Join the Tour de Cure. 60. Register to ride. 36. Or sponsor a rider. 50. Call 1-888-DIABETES or visit us online at diabetes.org forward slash tour. How many miles will you ride? 25. And welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where the men's basketball team is uh, trailing the Minnesota State University Moorhead Dragons 31 to 24. So uh, Dylan, if you're Coach Bigler, coming out of this media timeout, what are you telling them? Oh, we got to make sure to limit those turnovers too, not force anything too crazy on the passes and get the inside the pain points where we can. Three point shots have not been going good as of late for the Mustangs, but uh, inside the point, you got a better chance. Oh, shot is up. No good, rebound Williams. Ruer has no points so far in this game. This will be a foul on Seavely. His first foul of the game. Dragons foul number 55, Isaac Seavely. His first personal foul. Second team foul of the half. Here comes MJ Delmore. Two points tonight for him. Here comes a Minders. Minders. Is it down to Delmore? Oh Delmore loses that. Delmore over to Bartlett. Bartlett drives, spin moves. Thought he got fouled there, gets his own rebound. It's tipped, Williams picks it off. Williams finishes at the basket That's right there. Williams. Turner Mullen on the defensive, defensive pressure. Yep, got to give credit to the uh, Dragon defense there. They really made it difficult for any looks for the Mustangs. Joey Bartlett for three. No good. He's just having a hard time tonight, Matt. You know, he's getting himself set up, but uh, just rolling on out of the basket there. And overall for the Mustangs right now, I mean, 3 of 11 from three-point range. Jordan yeah, not good. Uh, I mean, yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, three for nine for uh, the Moorhead, so they're doing a little bit better. But, yeah, you just uh, – you've had 11 attempts. You need a few more. Reroar. Yet another miss. Hmm. Mustang's down by 11 now. It's it down to Williams, and Williams' shot is blocked by Moen. Moen in the rebound. Minute and a half left to play, Matt. I don't know where time went, but uh, it's going fast. Yeah. Turner Moen. Dumps it to Wegg. Wegg, down low. His shot is up and no good. Nice defense from Seavely. Vaughn, wide open. Can't get that one to go. Had an easy lane to the basket. Here comes Mullen. To Bartlett. Delmore, Mullen. One minute Bartlett. remaining in the half. Barlett down low, shot is up, no good. Here comes Moen. Wegg fakes, tries to put up a shot, couldn't get it, but he'll go to the line. I'm looking at Mitch Wegg from the charity strike here. 81%. That is almost tops in the NSIC conference as well. Yeah, he's definitely the person you want to send to the line, so it worked out well that he was able to draw the foul there. And he'll shoot two. Mitch Wegg. Seven, excuse me, sixth in the NSIC. The top free throw percentage. Misses that one there. Also checking in for the Mustangs, number 35, Kurt. Kurt. Here comes Wegg. Shot is up and good. Oh, 
45 seconds left. And a pretty quick first half. Yeah, it just, uh, you blink and the game's almost over. Or halfway Seavely. done. Seavely trying to put it back up, and he's fouled. He's got 12 points tonight. Absolutely. You know, all in all for this first half, man, as far as fouls go, too, I mean, only about seven between both teams. Uh, definitely uh, play officials wanting a little more uh, let them play it out style, I think, here. Seavely shot. No good. Here comes Seavely again. Check the names of the Dragons, number 35. Shot is up and good. Down the leg. Back to Travis Minders. Looks like the Mustangs are going to try and run it out here. Get a good shot off. Leg down low on Bingham. His shot is up and almost good. He'll shoot some free throws. 8.4 seconds left. Sangolo coming in for the Dragons. Leg shot is up and good. Checking in for the Dragons, number one. Wait, Wegg makes the next one. Carter Kirk into the game. Mustang's going to try to play some good defense here. Don't want to give. The Dragons the momentum going into the second half. Bingham for three. That is no good. Way off. The Mustangs still trail 36 to 27. We'll be back with two minutes left at in uh, halftime. And we'll be back with some stats and give you some overview on the first half. So you're watching Mustang basketball here on KSSU television. And welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where the Mustangs trail the MSU Moorhead Dragons 36-27. Matt Callahan here with Dylan Kerfin for our halftime report. And uh, Dylan kind of looking at some of the stats here. I mean, MSU Moorhead has been, uh, you know, what we bargained for, a very good team here Indeed. in the NSIC, one of the best teams. 15 to 37, 40% for MSU Moorhead. And looking at their three-point field goal percentage, three of ten, something they want to really improve on. Out rebounding the Mustangs, 23 to 18, three steals, two blocks, eight assists, two turnovers, only two turnovers in that first half. Points in the paint, 16. A big part of that is uh, Seavely, who's been a force down in the paint for Absolutely. the Dragons. So Dylan, let's send it over to you for the team stats for SMSU. Sounds good, man. Yeah, for SMSU, uh, field goal percentage, it's not bad, but it could be a lot better. Right now, they're only shooting 37%. Definitely something to sharpen up. Three-point field goals, though, that's been probably the biggest struggle of the game thus far. Only 25%. They've only made three of 12 attempts, so they got to find a way to get those baskets to fall because that uh, could very well be the difference. Also got uh, seven turnovers versus the two from Moorhead. That's uh, something you can't be doing shooting yourselves in the foot and giving the other team an opportunity. And finally, they do have 12 points in the paint, but compared to 16 from Moorhead, they've, uh, they've got some work to do on that as well. Kind of looking at some of the uh, stats here for SMSU so far this season. Scores by period, SMSU has scored 602 in the first half, 655 in the second half. So a little bit of an improvement, but the opponents have scored more in the second half 
560 in the first half compared to 627 in the second half. So look out for that coming up here. So the Mustangs got to lock down a little bit on defense and uh, get their three-point shots to fall here in the second half. Absolutely, man, absolutely. Three points could very well be the key to this game. Was your pregame key to the game, isn't that, it? That is true, actually, Matt. Yes, it was uh, make sure you win the battle in three-point land. Back down to Wag. Wag, fadeaway shot and good. Mitch Wag. Mitch Wag. That fadeaway shot has been working for Mitch Wag so far, Dylan. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been his go-to, and uh, they're happy to have it working for him. Great way to start the second half for the Mustangs as well. And Kirk and Seavely. You got to kind of think, too, you don't want to get him an easy basket. So it might have been actually a good foul for Mitch Wack. That's true. Seedley, I mean, obviously been shooting great from uh, inside the paint and thus, but he hasn't been as great in uh, the free throw shot. So, yeah, I think it might have been, been a good call. Mm -hmm. Here comes Seedley again. Shot is up and good. Mustang still trail by eight. Mustangs only had the lead for 47 seconds in the first half. Yeah, and that was a very quick 47 yeah, seconds there. Very right. quick. Yeah. So uh, they're going to have to, well, again, really it's the three-point game. they got to get that going here. And Mitch Wag, fadeaway hook shot, no good. Nice defense from the Dragons. Rework gets on the board with a three. He's got five points tonight. Wasn't really a big factor in that first half for one of their top uh, players here. Yeah, definitely quiet half. Maybe uh, maybe second uh, second half is when it'll come alive. Cole Martin with a nice fadeaway. Trying to get his team pumped up here. Vaughn catches the pass. Seavely has an open lane to the basket and throws it down. My goodness, I'll tell you what, that Sieve, Isaac Seavely has been playing at a high level here tonight, Dylan. Yeah, he's uh, been the real deal, very impressed, and uh, he's really taken advantage of his height, too. He <laughs> yeah, most definitely. I mean, he's a 6'9 junior from Red Wing, Minnesota. Martin's floater's up and not good. Jump ball. It'll be the Dragons' ball here. Hey, Mickey over. Over. Williams over to Seavely. To Vaughn. Over to Nelson. No good. Excuse me, lean. Williams can't hold on to that one. Moen, Delmore, and Minders into the game for the Mustangs. Martin Nosmanson out. And Carter Kirk. Here comes MJ Delmore. Set up the offense. Here comes Delmore. Delmore dumps it down to Wegg. Wegg puts out the shot. Can't get that in. Need a little more oomph on that shot. Yep, definitely a little low on there. Williams for three. And he drains that one. 14-point lead for the Dragons. And not the start uh, Mustangs want here early in the half. Uh, they can't get anything going here. They may want to consider a timeout here soon. Comes Mullen. Mullen down to Wegg. Mitch tries to get it down to Bartlett. Questionable pass right there. Ruer gets down and gets the easy basket. Coach Bigler, it will call a timeout right here. 30-second timeout, and we'll take a 30-second break as well. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU-TV. Ladies, are you talking to your partners about HIV? Two out of every three new HIV AIDS cases in women are among black women. Get informed. Get tested. Early detection can save your life. If you test positive, seek treatment from a doctor. Join the campaign to end Black AIDS, a partnership between Abbott and the Magic Johnson Foundation. Go to WeStandWithMagic.com, get resources, and become a member. And join today, and thank you. Your heart rate's a little fast. 
cause of death, acute myocardial infarction. Have you tried a weight loss program? Likely caused by type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Still smoking? Victim's lungs are black and scarred. You can get a physical exam now, or you can get one later. Use our free risk calculator and talk to your doctor. Lower your risk for type 2 diabetes and heart disease and live a healthier life. Welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University. Warm day in uh, January here today, Dylan. You know, it's being outside. Uh, snow is melting a little bit. Very True. cool. Yeah, we've had a nice day, and even though the sun goes down, we're grateful to have a nice uh, basketball game to look forward to here inside. And nice Most and definitely. Too. Mustangs trying to bounce back here. Down 47-31. Joey Barlett over to Mitch Wegg. Delmore. Barlett backing down Williams. His shot is up, no good. Wegg tries to get the rebound, but Joey Barlett gets his own. The Mustangs can't get the easy deuce. Nope. Foul on Joey Bartlett. Up out on Williams. Second foul for Bartlett here tonight. Nice ball movement. Selby. Wow. Oh. Very impressive. He, uh, Seavely, excuse me. Oh, yeah, there we go, yeah. Seavely. Yeah. <laughs> we were just so in awe by that uh, dunk there. Just an open lane and just throws it down. Joey Bartlett gets the pass out on the Dragons. Not a lot of energy from the Mustangs coming into the second half here, don't No, you would have hoped for as close as the score was that they'd come out with a fresh attack, fresh energy, but fortunately Moorhead here is just starting to grow their lead little by little. Comes Travis Minders, Minders down to Moen. Moen for three, no good. Their three point shooting just struggles. Lean down to Seavely, and Seavely just keeps pounding down in the paint. Comes Minders. Here comes Cole Martin with a nice reversal layup. Cole Martin's had a very nice game though as far as contributions for the team thus far. He's got 11 points. Some good rebounds, a lot Down of nifty Williams. basket moves. Williams' shot is up and no good. Here comes Martin. Over to Delmore, Delmore for three, and that goes in. Something the Mustangs definitely needed right there. No doubt about it, man, no doubt about it. 4-14, 28% from three-point range, though. Down to Seavely, Seavely oh, uh, gets that. Almost stolen, and Williams gets it and gets the and one. Prescott Williams. Well, Mustang's got to be frustrated. Had a chance to get it, and then they let uh, the and one go through. Very, uh, very disappointing for the Mustang. Media timeout. We're going to take a 60-second break. You're watching Mustang basketball here on KSSU TV. What's it like when you hear your calling? Will you ignore it, or will you listen? What if it calls you to go halfway around the world? to serve people you've never met. What will you do when you hear your calling? Peace Corps, life is calling. How far will you go? 
Southwest Minnesota State will get you where you want to go. We're a university of 3,600 students with over 45 majors to choose from. Small student to faculty ratios let your professors get to know you. And with a grad placement rate over 95%, your degree will help you get a job in your chosen field. Becoming involved is easy. And with over $150 million in improvements the last 10 years, our facilities are state of the art. Southwest Minnesota State University, where you belong. Welcome back to the RA facility where the SMSU men's basketball team is down 53-36 to Minnesota State University Moorhead here in this early in the second half. So uh, Dylan kind of looking at the SMSU stats, you know, field goal percentage isn't the greatest, 37%, 28% from three-point range. Yeah, definitely. And I think the, the bigger point is, is that, uh, you know, those three-point field goals not going through. It really have been the turning point in this game or earlier on, granted, not, not that it's over. <laughs> right. Exactly. Again, this Mustang team was resilient last night, just couldn't come out with the win. Uh, kept in it, but again, you, you got to play both sides of the ball, play offense and defense. You really do, Matt. You really do. And a turnover by Delmore. Just uh, another poor pass there by the Mustangs. Can't afford to, can't afford to be doing that. Nine turnovers tonight. Mustangs have been out rebounded 29 to 20. Nice steal by Turner Mullen. And here comes Mullen. Mullen. Down low. Down up to Cole Martin for three. No good. Rebound Carter Kirk. Nice rebound. Delmore. Pick set by Kirk. Delmore down to Kirk. Puts it up. No good. Rebound Bigham for the Dragons. Rewar dumps it to Sangolo. Vaughn. Shot up. Missed by Lean. And Cole Martin takes a shot right there from Vaughn. Oh, man. Hopefully Cole Martin's okay after that one. Yep. That must have really hurt. Yeah, it didn't look uh, pretty <laughs> from our end, that's for sure, man. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Comes Drew Osmondson back into the game for the Mustangs. Wag down to Bartlett. Bartlett. Bartlett charged with the charge, obviously. <laughs> Third foul on him tonight. Sangolo. Rewer. Rewer down to Nelson. Sangolo. Rewer. Nelson to Vaughn. Bingham. Rewer. Nice ball movement from the Dragons here. Yeah, they're making it look easy, just kind of flowing all over. Vaughn's shot is up, no good. Rebound Mitch Wagg. Here comes Drew Osmondson. He's got one point tonight. Here comes Drew, passes it down to Wegg. Wegg's shot is up and good. Mitch Wegg with a nice hook shot. Mitch Wegg has 11 points tonight as well. Shot is up and no good for Rewer. Here comes Drew Osmondson. Osmondson drives and gets the end one, Drew Osmondson. How about that play, Dylan? Uh, fantastic, just what the Mustangs needed, momentum definitely going in their favor now. Here comes Drew Osmondson. Trying to get uh, four points on the board here tonight, Drew Osmondson. Averaging 6.3 points per game, averaging uh, has got 46 assists on the year. And it'll be over the back there on Mitch Wegg. Kind of went in and out on the Osmondson free throw. Five, Mitch Wagg, his third personal foul, 15 foul of the half. 
Urbane Bingham is going to tie up his shoe there. Always important to tie your shoes, no doubt about it. Don't want to get yourself hurt. That's, That's true. <laughs> true. Here comes Nelson on the inbound. Not too often you see a bit of a pause in the action there for. Oh yeah, the exactly. Time. And you know he was very good. No pressure. You know, with everyone watching him, you know he made a nice clean knot. Vaughn, Sangolo, Mitch Wegg gets caught for the reach foul. His fourth foul of the game. Yeah, do not like to hear that. Uh, still 12 minutes to go. Yeah. Shame to have him out. Delmore in for Wegg. Tanner Kretschmann. Got some time in the first half. Nelson. Kretschmann. Bring him down to Vaughn. Vaughn tries to lay that one up and doesn't get it. It'll be off on Joey Bartlett. Tried to get the rebound there from Nelson. A lot of hands up on that, uh, that uh, grab there. Minders and Hewitt in for the Mustangs. Got the clap started there in the student section, trying to bring the place back to life. Mustangs trying to get some momentum here. Comes Vaughn. Sangolo. Down to Nelson, but Nelson can't hold on to that one. Low pass. Prescott Williams into the game. Tyler Vaughn out. MJ Delmore. Comes Osmondson. Down to Delmore. Delmore for three. His shot is up and no good. Rebound. Almost by Joey Bartlett, but it looks like to be a foul on the play on Sangolo. Oh my. The Mustangs can't hold on to that one. They still get it back. Here comes Nate Hewitt. Plays football and basketball here at SMSU. Joey Bartlett for three, and he drains the three. Definitely needed that one right there. Absolutely. He made it look easy. Five of 17. Mustangs try and get the ball. It's scramble for the ball. It looks like an like eight-second violation. So... Mustangs will have the ball. And Coach Waltall wants a timeout, and we're going to take a 30-second break as well. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU Television. Will I always be working weekends just to stay out of debt? He's a great college for our kids. Out of the question? Is the American dream? Out of our reach? Not if we can help it. We're the National Endowment for Financial Education, a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping people just like you get smart about their money. Log on to smartaboutmoney.org today and start taking control of your financial life. And welcome back to the RA facility where the Mustangs trail 54-43 to the MSUM Dragons. Down by 11 points. That's MSU. A lot of time left to get back in this. Minders down to Delmore. Minders for three. No good. Almost rebounded by uh, Osmondson. Jump ball there. Bingham. Bingham tried to get the rebound, but he would went in for the jump ball. And the Mustangs retain possession. Down to Bartlett. Joey. Step back three. Almost got it. 
at the front of the rim. Golo trying to nearly a back that off. violation, almost a backcourt. Kretschmann. A lot of tension on the sidelines right now. Kretschmann, step back, Jay. Up and good. Nice shot from Tanner Kretschmann. Here comes MJ Delmore. Down to Osmondson. Osmondson drives, dumps it to Bartlett. Bartlett for three. Yes! Joey Bartlett nails the three. Mustangs still down by 10 points. Nice job by Drew Osmondson to get the ball. Nice steal. The RA facility is back in business. And Drew Osmondson dumps it down to Delmore. MJ making some moves. Here comes Joey, dumps it off to Delmore. Joey Bartlett, 11 points tonight. Here comes MJ, down to Minders. Travis puts it up and looks to be just nailed right there by Nelson, and Minders will go to the charity strike. It'll be a media timeout. We're going to take a 60-second break. The Stampede is looking to be on the move. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. How far would you go to help someone? Would you go to the end of your driveway? Would you cross a street? Would you cross an ocean? Would you go if you could use your knowledge to teach someone? And in the process, maybe learn something yourself. Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. They say America is the land of opportunity. But today, one out of every six children lives without enough. That's nearly 13 million of us living below the poverty line, struggling every day just to hang on. This is America. Together, we can do so much. Will you help? Go to povertyusa.org today and get involved. And welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University for the SMSU Mustangs Trail 56-46. Hey everybody, Matt Callahan and Dylan Kerfman here on the call to, for tonight's game. And Dylan, Mustangs are getting some momentum here. Absolutely, just when things were looking good, uh, they started making their shots too, got some turnovers, got the crowd involved, and uh, made some critical three-pointers too, which is something that they've been struggling with for the longest time. So Six of 20 from three-point range, but it seems to be ramping up a little bit here in yeah. the second half. Absolutely, Matt. Shot in, is up and good by Travis Minders. Travis Minders, 85% from the charity strike. And that will oh, almost up his percentage right there. Comes Vaughn. Seavely. That almost goes off of Lean. Lean. Shot is up and good. Nice jump shot from Lean. Aaron Lean. Turner Mullen over to Minders. Pick from Kirk. That was a Mullen. Looks like an illegal pick on Cole Martin. Or on MJ Delmore, excuse me. Looks like they pointed at Martin. Pressure from the Mustangs. Williams gets it. Rewer. Nice ball movement. Vaughn for three, and he knocks it down. Dragons now have the the momentum. Minders tries to make some room here. Down to Kirk. Kirk. Shot is up and no good. Tries to get it back. Seavely with the rebound. 
He's got 20 points. Seavely dumps it to Williams. Vaughn. Seavely. Double teamed. Here comes Moen. Down to Vaughn. It's tipped by the Mustangs. Joey Bartlett. Mitch Wegg and Drew Osmondson back into the game. MJ Delmore out, Travis Miners out, and Turner Mullen out. Wegg has four personal fouls. It'll be interesting to see how uh, how active he is here on the on the play. Shot is up from Reamer. Rebound by Drew Osmondson. Here comes Drew. Makes a move down to Cole Martin. Nice move by Cole Martin. Silky smooth. Here comes Drew. Drew trying to find some space. Almost stolen, stolen by Rewer. Cole Martin down to Drew Osmondson. Osmondson for three, no good. It'll be a foul on Vaughn. Martin tried to get a handle on the ball there. Here comes Cole Martin. Martin down to Kirk. Kirk, shot is up, no good. Carter Kirk, no points here tonight. Rewer puts up the shot. Oh. And that'll be. No good. It's not goaltending. That shot will not be in. Sixty-one forty-seven. Martin's shot is up and no good. A rebound by Lean. Aaron Lean bringing it up. Jordan Rewer. Fourteen point lead for the Dragons. SMSU struggling. Almost stolen by Cole Martin. Rework for three. And then it is good. Dragons definitely have that momentum after that timeout they're doing. Absolutely, Matt. Really benefited them too, and they've just been taking advantage of the open looks and making their baskets. Mitch Wag can't hold on to that one. And Aaron Lean gets the easy basket. 19 point game. Foul on Rewer. Six minutes left in the second half. Turner Mullen, MJ Delmore, and Travis Minders into the game. Checking in for the Mustangs, number three, MJ Delmore, 11, and Travis Minders, and 21, Turner Mullen. Off to Wegg. Turner Moen. Moen drives. Tries to get it off to Miners. But it'll go to Minnesota State Moorhead. Minnesota State Moorhead shooting 47%, 41% from three point line. From the three point line. Yeah, a lot of solid percentages there, man. Yeah. Looking at the rebounds as well, Dylan. 30 out rebounded the Mustangs 39 to 26. It's been kind of a difference here. That is true, yeah, just not uh, hustling through and getting there, and yeah, Moorhead's been able to capitalize, too. Vaughn, down to Rewer. His shot is up, no good. Here comes Joey Bartlett. Bartlett makes a couple moves. Reach on Aaron Lean. Seven team fouls for MSU Moorhead. Bartlett's shot is up and good. Comes Joey. 
Shot is up. And good. Mustangs bringing the pressure, full court pressure. Sievely's wide open. Makes him all and miss, but gets the easy basket. He's got 22 points tonight. Very impressive outing from Sievely. Absolutely, from the start, Matt, Sievely was getting the points there for him, and uh, just a solid player, very good asset for the uh, Dragon basketball team. And Mitch Wegg will turn over the ball there, traveling violation. Vaughn dumps it down to Sievely, and Sievely throws it down. It's almost too easy for him. Yeah, we gotta, gotta maybe slow it down here. and Bartlett for three. And that should help right there. Joey Bartlett nails the three. Still seven to 23. A shot, or Williams tried to throw it down and he gets fouled. Yep, sometimes, you know, try to get fancy and doesn't work out too. Better to go for the sure thing. Another media timeout. We're gonna take a 60 second break. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. Alone, our reach is limited. No matter how great our intentions, on our own, we can only stretch so far. But at Rotary, we believe the right group of people working together can make our communities, our world, a better place. Rotary, humanity in motion. If you've had a stroke, the chances are good that you could have another one. But it doesn't have to happen. You could be a stroke smart star. I'm eating healthy and I'm exercising again. I'm keeping my blood pressure. Like all new parents, my husband and I want what's best for our baby. When it came to immunizations, I wanted the facts. So I carefully researched vaccines, talking to pediatricians and other experts and asking tough questions. The answer was obvious. Vaccines like those against measles and influenza are not only a good idea, they could save our daughter's life. Take the time to get the facts. Vaccines save lives. Welcome back to the RA facility. Mustangs trail 70 to 52 against the Minnesota State University Moorhead Dragons. Matt Callahan here with Dylan Kerfman and uh, Dylan. It's uh, just one of those nights for the Mustangs. Just can't really, you know, make a whole lot of shots. I mean, shooting 30%. 37% uh, from field goal range and 30% from three point range. Out rebounded 39 to 27 and 14 turnovers and turnovers were, were the problem last game. Exactly, well. unfortunately a continuing problem and like you said Matt too, just very uh, not the best of percentages that you want and, and when you're not making those baskets, you're well not gonna win basketball games. Here comes Williams, Prescott Williams, shot is up and good. <laughs> Mustang's got to make something happen here. They've been resilient through most games. So we'll have to see what happens. And here comes MJ Delmo. Shot is up. No good. Rebound Wegg. Wegg puts it back up and it is in. Mitch Wegg, 13 points. Mustang's bringing the pressure. Moorhead has just been great at breaking that full court pressure. Yeah, they, uh, they definitely been uh, cutting it up. <laughs> Nice ball movement from the Dragons. They're trying to last make the possessions last a Shot bit longer. Shot by Lean is up and no good. Here comes Cole Martin. His shot is up and almost in. It'll be a foul on the Dragons. Dragons on number 55, Isaac Seavely. Seavely with the foul. His second foul of the game, but he's in. Like we said, Dylan, 24 points and points in the paint. Uh, 32 for Moorhead. Yeah, Seabley's definitely been the real difference for Moorhead and uh, had a few dunks there as well, too. He uh, just really, really impressive performance all in all. Kind of thinking about it, too, Dylan, and this is one pretty good team and the Mustangs are going up against but it's it gives you some good experience to really you know go into next weekend with a 
tougher mentality. Absolutely, Matt, too. And I think the thing is, uh, as well, we got to remember, too, this is a very young Mustang team. We, you know, yes, we got sir. a few veteran leaders, too, but a lot of freshman players starting to make their contributions and impacts. So I think there's definitely bright times ahead for the Mustang uh, players and the program. But, you know, it's just part of this growing, and you know. Like a learning experience. A learning right? experience, exactly, Matt. And, you know, playing a very talented Moorhead team, you know, I think helps that experience even more. Sangolo with the three-pointer. Mustangs down by 20. Stolen by Joey Bartlett, and he'll throw it down with a slam. Joey Bartlett with 18 points here tonight. Dumps it to Sangolo. Lean. Vaughn, Sangolo, Hector Rewer. See Lee, and double team. Looks like a foul on Mitch Wegg, and that'll be his fifth. I'll have to watch it now. Carter Kirk is going in for Mitch Wegg. Drew Osmondson coming in as well. MJ Delmar coming out as well. Seavely. At the line, shot is up, good. Seavely, up, shot, good. Over to Drew Osmondson, Osmondson bringing the ball up. Over to Cole Martin, Martin dumps it to Kirk. Kirk's shot is up and he unfortunately traveled on that one. Mustangs with 16 turnovers here tonight. Yep, not uh, not doing themselves any favors there with turnovers, and they've uh, ultimately, sadly, paid the price. Only thing they can do is learn from it. Well, exactly. Said. Very true, man. Very true. Good learning experience. All right, here goes Rewer. Dumps it down. See Lee loses the ball. 154 and counting left. I will say if uh, Moorhead can continue the um, solid play throughout the rest of the remaining oh season. Oh my goodness. Oh, dagger in the heart. Tyler Vaughn with a Jimmer for dead range three. Drains it. Yeah, they keep making three-pointers like that too. I think they'll be making a pretty deep push into the NSIC playoffs. Timeout for MSU Moorhead and we're gonna take We'll keep it right here. Might as well. Absolutely. Just doing a little bit of subbing in and out right here. So a lot of uh, the reserves or the bench in for Moorhead. Into the game for the first time is Evan Holt. Evan Holt, 6'4 junior from Moorhead, Minnesota. Urban Bigham, Sangolo. Bigham, another shot, up, oh, no good. One-handed rebound by Cole Martin, how about that? That's yeah, kind of the story of his game, been all over the place, doing what he can. Cole One Martin shoots remaining. the three, doesn't make it. A minute remaining, counting. Gretschman gets that stolen. Here comes Travis Minders. Travis, looking for the open guy here, hoping to set it up. Comes Travis. Down to Drew Osmondson. Osmondson drives. Gets that blocked by Bingham. And Carter Kirk gets fouled on that one. And Carter going to go to the free throw line. His first trip to the free throw line tonight. Kirk's shot is up and good. Here comes Carter again. Shot is up, no good. Looks like 
MSU Moorhead will hold on to the ball here. They will improve to 20 and one here at SMSU. They get their 20th win and the Mustangs will fall to nine and nine, go to 500. Mustangs are five and five at home now. Uh, the easiest play you can call at this point here. Crutchman's just gonna hold on to this one. Shot clock violation. And Travis Minders will pass it in. Give it to him. Martin will just let the ball go. The SMSU Mustangs fall to the Minnesota State University Moorhead Dragons. 79 to 57. We'll give you our quick post-game report after this quick 30-second break, and you're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. We all have a vision of that perfect smile, but when it comes to our smile, it's not something we can draw or wait to miraculously appear. We need an orthodontist, dental specialists with two to three years of specialized education beyond dental school. Your child might be the next Picasso, so trust that brilliant smile to the right hands. Seeing an orthodontist no later than age seven can help achieve a healthy, beautiful smile. For more information, visit braces.org. And welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where the SMSU Mustangs fall to the Minnesota State University Moorhead Dragons 79-57. to Hey everyone, Dylan Kerfin, Matt Callahan here on the call for today's game. And uh, Dylan, it was a rough run for the Mustangs, you know, a tough homestand. They go against a northern team that's pretty darn good. They go up against MSU Moorhead who's obviously pretty darn good oh, yes. as well. So let's take a look at some of the stats. 31 of 64 from the field, 48%, 9 of 20, 45% for MSU Moorhead. Free throws, 8 of 13, 61%, and out rebounded the Mustangs, 43 to 33. Five steals, three blocks, 19 assists, 10 turnovers, and 14 points off turnovers, 17 points off the bench, and 32 points in the paint, and <laughs> duly to because of Isaac Selvey. Selvey, so we can add some of that. But Dylan, let's send it over to you for the SMSU stats. Sounds good, Matt. Obviously, like you said, Moorhead playing a very solid game, and their stats definitely reflect that. Unfortunately for SMSU, the big story of tonight's game, the lack of shots that were able to fall as much as they tried to compete. We only had about 35% for the field goal range. Three-point field goals, another critical aspect of the game that didn't go well for the team. And as a result, um, they weren't able to make that go through. My final key element, too, though, is the turnovers. 15 turnovers. When you're going against a talented team, as in MSU Moorhead, you just you just can't afford to do that. And obviously, they didn't pull out the win as a result. Most definitely. And you got to wa watch out for points in the paint. I mean, Isaac Selvey, very good player, very good player. But the Mustangs just couldn't keep him in check. Um, a lot of couple of turnovers, like you said, 15 turnovers for the Mustangs. But... Again, they got to bounce back from this, and the next games they will play are January 23rd at Minnesota State at 8 p.m. and January 24th at Concordia St. Paul at 6 p.m. But the Mustangs are back at home here against St. Cloud State at 8 p.m. here at the RA facility. And then January 31st, Hawaiian night, they'll be taking on Minnesota Duluth at home at 7 p.m. And we, we will be covering those games here at KSSU. So Dylan, great job tonight. Hey, thanks and you too. and uh, until next time, go Mustangs.